wear like it. Eyes. Eyes. So I can see. Hey there good people, it's a Cripple Critic, and this week we're, I'm, I'm coming back with a new Two Dudes, One Wheelchair. I know it's been a while. Uh, Will's back with me. Yay! <laughs> we're going to tackle another weird horror game, point-and-click horror game. I heard about this, Tormentum. Uh, it's inspired partially by H.R. Geiger's work, so it's going to be really fucked up. <laughs> um, I heard about it. Through, I think Extra Credits did something about, you know, games you used to try, and it sounded pretty weird. Uh, real quick, I guess I'll take a look at what the options see. There's any accessibility options? Not really. Definitely a lot of languages to choose from. Uh, and yeah, but let's let's see what this is all about. Yeah, if you want to read, you can, Will. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. Immanuel Kant. Okay, it's a good quote. First there was darkness, then I slowly opened my eyes. I felt a strong wind in the floor below it, felt like it was moving. I realized then I was not on the ground. I was high above the clouds, locked like an animal in a metal cage attached to a flying machine. Next to me, there was another cage with another prisoner inside. Definitely got some uh, Edgar Allan Poe vibes from that. With a pit and pendulum. All right, I'm gonna be. I'll be the strange, I'll be the weird muskrat-looking thing. Cyborg muskrat. Yeah. Muskrat. Hello, stranger. Hello, stranger! <laughs> I see they didn't come just for me. They came to my house at night and locked me in this cage. I worry about my family. They're not... They're out there all by themselves. They came when the sky begins to... Would they come when the sky begins to cry fiery tears? They are said to take only those marked by evil. <laughs> they use their airships to transport them to their castle and nobody returns from there. They arrived in our guy's explaining a lot. <laughs> they arrived in our land a long time ago. It's ironic that our ancestors helped them to raise their castle. <laughs> Nobody in their worst nightmares could have foreseen their plans. I don't deserve this. I'm not evil. I've always led the life of a simple hunter, doing what I could to feed my family. I love how at first he seemed really like, you know, like, oh hey, how you know, hi, and now he's like, I don't deserve this. <laughs> Weird. Wait, I feel the machine descending. We'll teach the castle. We'll, re we'll reach the castle soon. My head swirls with questions concerning my current situation. Was being here some kind of punishment? What did they want from me? Good question. Who is they? I guess it's whoever's flying the Goodyear blimp there. <laughs> Contrary to my companion, I don't remember anything. My mind can only recall the image of a strange sculpture atop a mountain. Oh great, we have another main character who has amnesia. I don't know anything. In my mind, I can see stone hands reaching towards the sky. Between them stands a statue of a woman. I do not know what this place was, but subconsciously I feel I must find it. First though, I had to get out of this terrifying place. The airship lands in a courtyard inside the castle. Guards in horned helmets drag me to a cell inside a castle tower. After a while, one of them returns and speaks to me. <clears throat> Quaint. Foul being, soon you will suffer the pain of torture. I mean, he looks pretty scary. This place will purge you of all evil hats within your bowels. <laughs> I like the dialogue. 
As long as clay is being formed in the hands of the potter, anything is possible. We can still reform your corrupt soul in spite of the deeds that have shaped it in the past. Your fate is not yet sealed. Remember, the dagger of destiny has two edges. One side, there is torture. On the other is yourself. You may think nothing depends on you, but it is you and your actions alone in which everything depends. Hmm. Soon we will meet again in the torture chamber. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks for that. Well, okay. Creepy. I mean, I already like the art design. I should probably mention that alongside H.R. Geiger, they based the worlds on, like, Demon Souls, the game, but I can kind of see it. Speaking of a, uh, a grown po. <laughs> oh, what's what's this guy? A movie ticket. The raven arrived with something in his me in his beak. It's a small metal plate of some sort. Let me take a look. Rest the plate. Can I not? I guess I can't. Like. Yeah, it just says what it is. Can I just say really quick that I'm really happy that this has like an in-game like inventory that I don't have to press a I don't have to type a you know a key a keyboard button I can just click on it like it's so simple anyway I'm glad <laughs> can I talk to him oh this bird hid himself here from the me meteor storm cool thank you <laughs> that's to say. Could it be that one of my predecessors tried to leave me some kind of message? Well, it could be, yeah. I bet this is for a puzzle. <laughs> I will, don't know if I'll remember it, but we'll look back at it later. This is, okay, good. Good. You drew it. It's a good main character. Good. Can I talk to it? That'd be cool if I could talk to this person. Ah! Ooh. No! Oh no, now I have to get it out somehow. Get out whatever it was that... A broken skull. I don't need it. <laughs> What's with the glowing finger? I hope I won't meet a similar fate. You will. Yeah, what's this? Good. Can I take it? Ooh, it, uh. I've picked up the skeleton's forearm. Who knows? It might come in <laughs> handy. <laughs> I see what you did there. I like it. Well, already I got to keep a skeleton arm. I'm happy. I like this game. Alright. So the plate is glowing. Yeah. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, the cover is screwed tight. I can't open it. Maybe I can use the either the skeleton arm or the rusty plate to like unscrew it. Looks like you need a Phillips head. But I know, but like, you know. Yeah, give it a shot. Oh, yes. I'm a genius. The cover is screwed tight. I can open it. Hell yes. Thank you, Raven or Crow or whatever. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of course it couldn't be that easy. <laughs> okay, so this is probably that puzzle, right? The, like, Possibly. It looks like the color of the gears goes on the color of the spindles. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that has nothing to do with it. I'm just putting them in random places right now. you need to put the small ones close to the ones that are close to other gears, so... Okay. The ones that are far away, you put the big ones. Like here? Yeah, that's a good guess. Ah, okay. Now you need to put a small one next to the blue, I'm guessing. Yeah, another blue? Because I don't know why the... I don't know why they're blue on some and two different colors on the other. Hmm. Can 
and you put the other blue one next on the other solid blue. Right there? Yeah. Right here? Um, hold the one on. in the corner there. Because it looks like you're just trying to turn the top. No, because that... Not, yeah, not that one. The other blue one up in the upper right. Oh, this one? Yes. Oh, I put that there. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. And then see this one here. And then this one here. Let's see what you can <laughs> get working. Does that work? No. Nah, I didn't do work. it. I figured they all have to be touching. Oh, this one needs to be moving. <laughs> right, that's what I'm guessing. Okay, okay. That's our goal, to get that one moving. Well, in that case, I think I got it. Maybe. Yeah. It worked. It was a rather primitive mechanism, <laughs> after all. Set up, main character. <laughs> the bars have risen. Here's my first step of freedom. I don't trust it. That looks like a freaking pendulum. Can I, like, walk? You How may fall walk? into a pit. And a I pigeon. Walk. Maybe I just click on stuff. Ooh, a mirror. Or a glass. Yeah. I have found a piece of a mirror. Interesting. How do I walk? I guess you just press the arrow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this is where the HR Geiger stuff comes in. Where do I click? There's so many things to click. Oh, fuck, this is weird. I like it. Eyes. Eyes. So I can see. Heart. So I can feel. Light. To dispel the darkness. How about see if you can put the part of your mirror on the... Looks like there's a, the one on the right is broken. This one? Yeah. Okay, hold on. The stone, the stone angel will show you the way if you meet these three conditions. That was cool. Look at this thing, Will. <laughs> it's like, like inside of it, like a womb or something. That is freaky. I love it. Okay, I already did this. No, well, this guy. Yeah, this guy. Okay, same thing. Uh. Ooh, weird and disturbing. The skull's eye socket is empty. The skull's eye socket is empty. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking around. Sorry, this is how I... I'm curious with games like this. I want to, like, see everything. I should find all the missing pieces of the mirror. I feel it is somehow linked to the angel statue. So it looks like this is the one that there's nothing... I wouldn't see it. looked like there was something. But there's not. Okay, so... Let me put one piece. We'll see what's in the other one. Do that first? I, I don't know. I'm just... I see. guess try it. Let's see. Oh, there's one here too, by the way. Oh, never mind. No, I just... Yeah. That's a, that's a functioning mirror. Okay. Alright, got a piece. I found a piece of the mirror. It's a very strange prison. <laughs> They've got like weird angel statues that'll, and mirrors that'll like show you the way. But, no, okay. Two pieces of mirror. Okay, so there's two more. That's what I assume, you know. Good assumption. <laughs> Alright. I guess just let me go to the next room because I don't see anything else. I can look at. Ooh. Looks <laughs> like, like those things. Yeah, yeah, the puzzle. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's it. And here's another piece of the mirror. I found a piece of a mirror. Hmm. Maybe you ought to look at that map again and see what you should be. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 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 Pulling this. A heart. A stone heart. I found a stone heart. Someone clearly made an effort to hide it. See, now that reminds me of that really old, depressing, like, child story. Do you remember? It's like about, like, uh, toy soldiers. Yeah. Where, like, 
him and this ballerina toy fell in love, but then they got like melted down into this like heart shape. I don't know. Oh, say. Toy Story 2, right. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although it's just as depressing. God. Okay, so I, I'll look at the... Uh, that'd be a good idea. Didn't we see one like that in the first room? It fell out of the skull. I can see a shiny object at the bottom of the well. If only I could raise the water level. Well, I'm sure the... This will do that. Let's see. Okay. So, so the brown one's up. And the other one's down. Looks like it. That's it. They won't all stay. Ah. Uh, oh, piece of the mirror. I've found a piece of a mirror. Let's hope that taking that mirror in like Indiana Jones and like... No. the big boulder. <laughs> yeah. Because I, as far as I know, I have no weapons. Um, well, or, yeah. I just wanted to see if I could do this since we actually do have all the pieces now, I think. Uh, uh, uh. The mirror is now complete. Uh, I think you need to tilt the mirror so that they're focused on the statue and put the heart in the statue. Oh, nice. there will be like little lasers that energize the heart. Let's try it. Ooh. You know, I really didn't even notice that it had a heart shape. <laughs> I was like, I wonder what I'm going to do with this heart. All right. The stone heart has started to pulse with red light. Yay. Maybe not a good sign. Maybe this brings back the mummy or something. Or summons a demon. Uh, well, it looks like there's still the uh, skulls that we have to fill. Probably with the thing that's in the bottom of the well. Ah, so there's four of them, I guess? We'll see. Well, can you do like anything with the forearm? Where, where? Where should I put it? I don't know. Do all these things have forearms? I don't know. The one on the left doesn't seem to have an arm. This thing? All I can do with these is talk to either of these two. This one won't. Oh, you mean like try the actual... Let me see. I guess the only thing to worry about the uh, the room with the like prisons, you know, the the cells, what they call the cages, hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But it's probably a good place to stop. Uh, all right, you guys, uh, I really liked it. What, what do you think? Well, it was really weird. Definitely has lots of atmosphere to it, and the puzzles seem very easy, which you used to expect at the start of a game. I don't know. I, yeah, it's like... It surely gets my curiosity up as to what comes next. Yeah, it's way more grotesque than I expected, and I like that. Uh, and I hope it has an interesting story. But, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Will, thanks for helping me out. No problem. All right, I'll see you later.